In this video, I show you how to run Windows on your Mac. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this. Here we are on my Mac and let's get right into this. So the first thing you need to do is of course go and open up a web browser. So in this case, I'm gonna go and use Safari. Then what we need to do is go and search for a program and I'll explain exactly what this program does in just a moment. But what you need to do is go and type in Parallels. So I'm going to go and put the link in the description and the comments or alternatively, you can just go and search Parallels, which is P-A-R, a-L-L-E-L-S, but it's probably easier just to go and tap the link. And make sure you go to the official website, which is probably easier to go and click on the link. Now you're probably wondering what is Parallels? Well, actually it's Mac and Windows virtualization. So what we can go and do is with this application and you can go and run Windows on your Mac in, in basically an application. It's really, really easy. And you don't have to go and boot into other things. You can literally just have a window with Windows running. It's fantastic. So you can do everything you like in Windows, you know, play games or just use Windows software. It's gonna work fine. Now it is important to note that this is a paid um, application but the good thing about this is that it comes with a two-week free trial so you can go and test this out and then if you like it you can go and keep it um, and if you don't you, you can stop using it right so go and tap on download free trial and you may have to go and allow downloads in Safari it's really easy and then you can go and tap on the download button in the top right of Safari to go and view it then what you want to do is go and click on it once and then go and double tap on it and then your Mac is going to go and start opening it up it has quite a few processes of opening, it'll be verifying it. Then what you want to do is go and double tap on the install parallels desktop um, box, just I guess it's really easy. And when you go and double tap on it, you're then gonna go and get another screen, uh, which looks like this, and you have to go and click open again. Uh, it doesn't take too long. Then you're going to go and get the end user license agreement. I've already read this, so I'm just gonna go and accept it. And then it's gonna go and start downloading stuff. And you may need to go and enter your password on the way just because you're installing something on your MacBook. And then it's gonna go and start installing parallels desktop as you can see right now. Then it's gonna go and say starting. And now we've gone and got this screen here saying download and install Windows 11. So you can go and click on install Windows in the bottom right. However, you may also be on a different screen. Um, so if you're on a different screen, I'm gonna go and tap skip now. You may It may look like this. You can do the exact, exact same thing and go and just tap on get Windows 11 from Microsoft and then press install Windows. And then it's gonna go and start actually installing it. As you can see, it's creating it and it's downloading it. It's around a, a four gigabyte download. So it will take some time. So sit back and wait for it to go and finish. Then once it's gone and finished, it's gonna go and start installing itself. As you can see, it's literally installing Windows right now. Um, and yeah, and you can see my mouse is actually turned to a Windows mouse as well. Um, and you can go and see the progress. This does take a bit of time installing Windows, um, but yeah, you can just sit back and let it do its thing. And just while Windows was installing, I had this pop-up about signing into a Parallels account. So if you haven't already got an account, just go and tap on I am a new user and you can go and fill it in your information. And then I, after I created my account, I had this pop-up about activating Parallels desktop. As you can see, it's asked for activation key but you can just go and tap on try for free in the bottom left just like I did there and we can go and take advantage of the trial as you can see it's two weeks which is pretty good so we can just go and tap continue trial and then it's going to go and have pause windows 11 so go and tap on the play button um, and as you can see it's now resuming and then the install is going to carry on as it was and then after a bit of time it's going to go and start booting up honestly you're going to see a few of these screens that I did during the process it did take quite a bit of time it's going to say getting ready and things like that but literally you just need to wait and after it says getting ready there may even be another screen um, about Windows 11 but then here we are as you can see I'm now literally on my Mac with a Windows application running um, and yeah it fits really well nothing it all looks really clear if you know what I mean it's not like blurry or anything and yeah you can go and open up you know, the File Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and you can go and download things and run things. So if you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.